Um, what, what a fun game for our Bobcat fans and for our players. And I think the number one thing that I turn to is the fact that uh, the past couple practices have been drastically different uh, regarding my attitude and how I approach the team, that they know that's going to continue. Um, and the other piece of it is, is uh, you know, Taylor Deere committing as well to defense. I truly believe if you combine that with the team's overall all attitude regarding defense and what we're going to need to continue to do because we're a smaller team, this is what you see. Especially when you see, I mean, you take a look at this. I'm, I, I don't remember the last time I allowed a team to score 59.5% uh, from the field and you win a basketball game and we're only shooting 45. You know, but I think the thing you found that we did was did a great job attacking at the rim. We just did a great job defensively. We turned them over 25 times. I'm not quite sure, you know, how many points that generated for us, but obviously just that excitement was able to continue to build for us. And the team battled, um, ran a couple different rotations in the day. I'm comfortable with those rotations I saw. I really like a lot of what I saw. Um, and it needs to continue as our conditioning gets better. I only see, you know, more players having opportunity um, and us being able to continue to play fast. But tonight, uh, you know, I'm really excited what we're able to do regarding our ability to be able to defend and to make things difficult for teams and be able to throw different looks at them, which, again, I go back to what I, I've said all along, is that we're, we're a different team. People just don't realize that yet. But once we get out here, um, defensive strategy is really important for us, and we're going to continue to mix it up. In the third quarter, like, Midway through the third quarter, you went to the full court press, and it looked like that really threw them for, like they didn't have an answer for you. Called almost caused a 10 second call, but they changed that and then forced multiple turnovers. They could never really get in the set where they could get it down low. And like you said, the defense played also, even though they allowed 59 percent. Just so, how much do you think that in the third quarter, the going to the press kind of got them off their game? I don't know if it was just the press alone. To be honest with you, <coughs> I think it was just the fact that we kept mixing it up on them, how we guarded their sets. Um, did a pretty good job scouting. Obviously, they've only had two games because um, she's a new head coach, but really I've watched the film extensively over and over and over and over, just trying to understand the personnel, understanding what they might be able to do. And I think once we did that, we inserted the game plan, and these young ladies did a great job following that game plan, whether it was you know what we did regarding screening action, what we did regarding screening action on the side, what we did out of a timeout, what we did, like you said, with the full court press. Um, I mean, I don't even know if they realize there's times where we kind of switched up our press as well. Um, I think obviously it stifled them for sure because we kept switching up. They weren't getting, outside of the fact they come off the high screen and kick to 20 for a shot, they didn't get their normal, quote unquote, normal looks that they're used to in their first two games. And then Caitlin drew the two fouls early and Taylor in the first quarter, you pretty much kept, kept the team in the game with your 10, I think 10 points in the first quarter. Just obviously you talk about the first quarter, but then your overall performance, you got to the rim at will and the three point shot was falling pretty well for you tonight too. Just how's your offensive game going? I guess. <laughs> well, the past week, I just been in the gym, and I want this game bad. They beat Oklahoma, so I felt if we beat them, then that make us. Uh, that make us good. So I want this game bad. It's my birthday, and that's giving us momentum to go into Cancun. Okay, good. That's fair. Mm -hmm. It's a birthday gift to yourself. Thirty-two points. <laughs> I mean, yeah. North and three steals. That she reminded me. Three steals. <laughs> North Texas obviously beat number 17 Oklahoma the last time that they played. Um, so what does it mean for you guys, even though, I mean, you guys came out on top, so what does it mean to beat a team that had those capabilities, had those capabilities to beat a program like Oklahoma? Like, what, or and what do you take out of it? It can be any of you that answer that. Um, I personally think that anything is possible then. If we can beat them, then we can beat any other team that is, is ahead of us next coming for the season. I think the thing I'm going to continue to preach to the team is if we stay disciplined in everything that we do, we're going to be fine. We'll always be able to compete. Now, which way the ball falls, some days we may not know if we're outmatched. But generally speaking, if we follow our game plan and we continue to work hard, things will work out well for us, regardless of who we play, regardless of whether we play a team who's knocked off you know, a top 20 type. 25 team or whether we play a division two team, whether we play a team at, you know, at, the, at the bottom of their conference. If we can keep up this intensity level and this effort regardless and stay disciplined, I think this is going to be a really fun year for us. Is there any way that you're thinking about like improving on keeping the lead and not letting it fluctuate like throughout the game? I think any coach would love to be able to continue to improve the lead. The game plan specifically for this team wasn't to take quick shots. That wouldn't have helped us with the way they play defensively. They're just really good. They do a great job, which you saw. Our missed layups or our miscues, boom, they're gone. They convert. 
And so our ability to be able to stay patient until we work to good shots, we've got multiple players that can score for us, um, I think that's important. I think any time a coach can figure out that you know magic trick of being able to gain a lead, keep a lead, that'd be good. But against good coaches, and, and obviously the staff has done a great job, uh, they're able to make adjustments, and that's important that you make adjustments throughout the game. What did you tell the team after you called the timeout after UNT started the fourth quarter with the 8-0 run, it all the momentum, so what did you tell them just to – Weather the storm there, and then you'll get your shot. Oh, I definitely never say weather the storm. They will tell you that. That's nothing that would come out of my mouth. Um, that, that we needed to pick it up defensively and truly explaining them exactly how they're getting to their scores, and that was with some of our misses to some easy looks. Us not doing a good job of dribble penetration and being able to get those kicks. I think if you tell them specifically as to what's going on, it makes it easier for them to understand what to do to make those adjustments. And, you know, this team did that tonight, and it, and it worked out well in our favor.